What up, man? It's Snake Keeper Steve. You already see who I got on my neck. Got a few updates because four of my snakes shut out today, including Pablo. So might as well show him since it's been a while. About to throw him off real quick and show you guys everything. When you guys first seen me get him, I don't know if you guys paid attention to it, his size and everything. His height, I definitely don't know if he got longer. He's already too old for that. His colors in here look a little grayish, but in person I see a lot of cream colored. Even his um, saddles are orangish. And I finally got to, to, to measure him out. He's exactly at 5'7". Not bad for a male. His tail's looking orangish, red on the camera, but it's orangish. A lot of blacks in it. He's already curious, like, ooh, what's up there? Besides that, he's been doing very well. I did power feed him for a little while. Of course, he's not who I wanted to make breeding plans with it, but, I, you know, I cared for him, and he's definitely, definitely a beautiful snake to me. And I wanted him to be where he should be, you know, more boxy. Now all that loose skin he had on his neck, he had a bunch of, like, loose skin around his neck. I wasn't liking it. It's not how a boa should be. She had this nice little boxy frame coming right down and looking nice now up next my two bread leaves right now looking good they both just shed out one the female actually shed it out today and the male shed it out two days three days ago i was when they were sold to me they were sold to me as a female and the male so i kept two of them and i was feeding them very well obviously the breeder was only feeding them the minimum just to keep them going so my meal is bigger than my female because i had to go bring it back after like a month when I actually decided to pop them because I was a little worried about it. I never tried popping any carpet or any more yellow type of species. Only a boy pythons. So they both of them had hemipenes. Both popped out right away. So I had to bring it back after almost a month of caring for both of them. If I'm not correct, I mean, if I'm not wrong, this is my male right here. The back right there and those two little stripes that disconnect right in the middle. But they're both continuous. They both are straight stripes. He's bigger than my female like girthy wise even the head might be a little bit bigger because if he was already he already got a good jump start in his feeding i was giving him about two hopper mices and her she took a rat pup a little rat pup nothing too big but she took one you know what i mean some people everybody has a different feeding program and what they think is right if you see the striping on the back of her neck where i was talking about his there's a little break on it right on the side that's another way i could tell them apart besides me having them labeled <laughs> this guy's having fun but yeah you can see she's a little bit smaller than him she had a little later start to, to compared to the way i was feeding my male and the female was bigger i mean the other male that i ended up bringing back was more of a finicky eater so i ended up bringing him back and taking this female she ate right away literally moments after i got her home and put them away and i got a new snake to show you guys and i'll show you the updates on the other ones that shed it out so since they're all together i gotta kind of show you him right away and that color just pops right out of the box i got myself a male jungle yearling he's exactly one year old i think a year and a month or so i gotta get the exact birthday but i know he just turned the year so if you don't know what a jungle is it's a coal strain albino it could be sharp if they threw sharp in it but this one's a coil strain with hypo and jungle. So it's two codoms and a recessive gene right here. It is lipstick line. And I saw the parents and everything. The, the colors are gonna stick pretty well on this guy. Of course they will get a little bit more shadier, but this guy pops, man. Literally a beautiful male. He ate already two rat pups for me. The guy had him on mice. I don't know why. If it's been a whole year, why didn't he upgrade him to rats? So I gave him two rat pups. He didn't take them off the tongue. I actually left them in the tub and he ate them both. So whatever, whatever makes him feel comfortable, that's the way he'll eat. But I'm definitely gonna boost him up. He's a male, but I'm probably give him a little bit more of a heavy feeding schedule for the next month or two until I see him more. I mean, he's not a bad weight, actually, at all. So I might not even go too hard on it. I'm, I mean, obviously, I'm going to feed him a little bit more than the other guy. I'll probably start him off with two rat pups. And once I see him downing them down without issues, then I'll move him up to the small rats and the mediums, you know. And if the story behind this guy, I got rid of the leopard. have no breeding plans if I were to breed a leopard cool snake and everything not really a fan of his size i got rid of him and now i got this guy and he goes perfect with my hypo girl because she's had cool i put these two guys together i got a chance of proving out the albino proving out getting some hypos might even get some some junglos possibly it's a lower chance but it's possible i can also have some normal jungles head calls 100% heads. I can have some hypo 100% heads. I can get some hypo jungles. I can even possibly get some super hypos. 
So the possibilities are pretty up there. So I'm gonna try to put this guy down for a second. Let him cruise around, get some exercise. And here goes my little jungle male. He just shut out this morning as well. He's looking pretty good. His colors, I don't know. I kind of feel like he got more pinks on the side of his belly now. His reds haven't went away on his tail. They're definitely still staying red. It's red, a little orangey tint to it. The pattern's looking pretty much the same. Of course, the pattern can get a little distorted as they grow and they stretch out. He's doing great. He's actually eating weaned rats every week sometimes if i get somebody to deny a meal which really never happens he'll have maybe even two ringed rats or a ringed rat and a pup and might be too much but the guy is just chowing him down his strength is up there he don't play you know games with it he eats and he goes for it are you mad dude you're looking like you're pissed off right now as of right now the overcast is not helping to show any iridescence on her because she does she definitely has a good iridescent glow to her in the sun and her colors are literally like a dark orange peachy color and the tail looking beautiful her colors i don't know if to say if they're getting better because they looked amazing from day one but her size she definitely grew in some length she's about three and a half feet i got her her measurement done but it wasn't a perfect measurement because she was kind of curling up a little in the middle of me trying to get it done i got her in the beginning of june and she was weighing 540 grams right now she is 1175 grams pretty much more than doubled up her weight she's eating medium rats every week for the females you don't really got to cut back on their feeding if you're trying to breed them you don't got to cut back if it's just a pet then you can feed them every two weeks on a medium rat and they'll do just fine and she's still looking good like it's not even like i'm getting her too fat she's barely even has a bulge when i feed her so she's doing great right now so happy i'm so happy i have her here man the other day i tried to shoot a video record a video to show off this guy and i actually got him at the tub i didn't see him in the position but i went to check up on him today and get the flashlight on my phone and this guy molted out and i didn't even know he was in malt i didn't even know he was in malt and everything like i was actually super surprised but he was not active at all now he's starting to be more active so i'm gonna try to get him out and get that molt out real quick and show him how he's doing he's been eating he's doing great but it's not really much of an update besides him molting out and him doing good but show him off real quick never seen nor touched a molt but this looks funky definitely it's kind of quick it's weird it's not like a perfect molt like i've seen with other people's but i guess i'll save it i should have known man from all this heavy webbing that's in here i've heard they do a lot of webbing when they're about a molt let's see if i can get this guy out come on come on but yeah he doesn't want to come out but look so you guys can check him out real quick he's looking like pretty bluish it's looking good though. I'm gonna have to run out to the store and get him some food. Fill up this water bowl. And I'm guessing this is just gonna end today's video. You got to see the snakes. They're all shedding out. All looking good. The tarantula is doing great as well. It's a good plus, man. So I gotta go get everybody away. Feed them up. Clean my hands and all that. Talk to you guys later, man. Snake Keeper Steve.